Okay, now we're on to step six, which is what I call aligning the T's. And so by the T's, what I mean you're gonna do is you're gonna have this yellow cross and it's gonna be aligned with the center colors like so. And the T's are, you're gonna see when you flip the cube over where you see the letter T um, on each face like so. So by aligning the T's, it means that we, our cross now is aligned with the center colors. And so that'll be the state at the end of the step. Okay, so now we're going to align our T's. And so after you've created the yellow cross, you're gonna look at the situation to see how well your yellow cross is aligning with the center colors. Now, sometimes it's gonna look like nothing is aligning, like you have zero matches or you only have one match, but actually you should always be able to get at least two um, of the spokes of the cross to align with the center. So if you rotate the top, you can then check and see like, like here it looked like none, none of them matched. But if you rotate the top, you can now see like, oh, orange aligns, this one doesn't, red aligns, and this one doesn't. So we've actually got two sides aligning, red and orange. And so this is the case where, uh, so you always will get at least two aligning if you, uh, if you play with it a little bit. And so you'll either have the case where the opposite sides align or two adjacent sides align. So this is a case where the opposites align. So what you want to do there is put a good side, the red side in the front here, and the other good side, the orange side in the back. And then what we're going to do is this algorithm that I call the right 180 algorithm. And it goes like this. You bring up the right side, you swivel the top 180 degrees, one, two, you bring down the right side, and then you bring back the top once, bring up that right side again, bring back the top one more time. Now I've made that white column, bring that down. And then you check your T's and you can see that we now have the situation where blue is aligned, red is aligned, and then these are not aligned. So now we've actually got the case where the two adjacent sides are aligned. And when that happens, what you're gonna wanna do is hold the cube so the good side, one good side's on the back and the other good side is on the left. And then you're gonna do that that right 180 algorithm one more time. So you're gonna bring up the right side, you're gonna turn the, the top 180 degrees, one, two, bring down the right side, bring back the top once, bring up the right side, bring back the top one more time, bring down that right side, and then realign those T's, and you can see all four are, are now aligned and we've uh, aligned our teeth.